What's going on YouTube? GSM right here. Today we have a downgrade tool that was released for Checkmate compatible devices called Semaphorin, and this one allows you to downgrade various iOS versions, including iOS 7, iOS 8, 10, and so on. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to basically repair your iOS device if it's stuck in a boot loop, recovery mode, or in BFU mode, upgrade screen, and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So as you can see here on my website, we do have a guide now available for Semaphorin, and this one is an iOS downgrade tool released for A7 through A9 devices. So essentially compatible with Checkmate, and with this you can downgrade your device to iOS 7.0.1, 7.1.2, 8.0, 10.3.3, or even 11.1. And these are the supported devices, including the iPhone 5S, iPad Mini 2, Mini 3, Mini 4, iPad Air 1 and 2, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, and SE 2016. We do have a full guide here on the website on how to use it. It kind of looks a lot like Checkrain, the jailbreak. You can actually do the whole procedure either with the GUI version, so this one over here, or via terminal. So whichever you like, whichever you prefer. The script is completely open sourced over here, and here is the compatibility chart as well. These are all the iOS versions you can downgrade to, and you can just specify them in terminal. The home button will not work on 7.0.1 and 7.0.1. .2, so that's problematic, but then it works on all the rest. Volume keys don't work on 7.0.1, so probably a version to avoid. But then also there is an issue with jailbreaking on some versions, for example 11.1 and 10.3.3. You cannot jailbreak those at the moment, or at least they do not have Cydia by default, because this tool also attempts to jailbreak some of the versions when you do the downgrade, so that you don't have to do it yourself. Now, there are a couple of bugs you should know about. For example, you cannot use a passcode or a face ID. You cannot use a Wi-Fi network that has a password either. You have to use an open network. So this is not exactly for your daily driver, though I'm assuming you're not using an iPhone 5S as your daily driver in 2024. So if you want to see exactly how to use this tool, definitely go ahead here on our website. We do have a full guide over here and you can get the latest beta, which right now is 1.0 beta 2, which was released yesterday and it does contain support for more devices as well. So this is available only for Mac OS, by the way, and only for Mac OS Catalina and lower. Thank you for watching. I'm Gio Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.